I love creating ocean backgrounds. I'm using all three of my colors on the brush at the same time and moving them around, being careful not to blend them completely. And I'm adding darks back in and lights back in and having lots of fun. So you can use bubble wrap to pick up some of your paint while it's still wet. And then we can paint right on the bubble wrap to put some paint down. And again, just like you using a sponge, we're gonna move our bubble wrap around to change directions so we don't end up with any patterns. And pro composition tip, keep the edges of your canvas darker to bring the viewer's eye back into the center of your canvas. I started by using a paintbrush to add a generous amount of water to my canvas. I only used a couple drops of paint to start with to see how things would move around with the hair dryer, And then I started to add more. I mixed my two blues and white and applicator bottles to drip onto the canvas, kind of like an alcohol ink technique. And the ratio was about 10 to one water to paint. As you start to get a feel for how the paint's going to move around on your canvas, you can add more water or more paint in layers or just continue wet on wet. Notice how the dry places on my canvas affect how the paint moves around. As you layer, you can pick up the canvas to move the paint in different directions like you would do for paint pour. And you could stop here, but I love the results I got from building drops of paint and water on top of each other and even spreading them around a little bit. You could also change up the color combinations and make a very fun abstract background for any design. Where you're using watered down acrylic paint instead of watercolor here, creating a simple organic pattern, kind of like cobblestones. In the kayak version, we created layers of different colors. Here we are using the same paint color throughout. We're just using it varying degrees of diluted with water. And you can build these layers as much as you like. We're going back in now with some white and that is where the magic starts to happen. Stay in the channels, little white um, channels, but go ahead and overlap that blue to create some more dimension. I just love the way this white barely covers creating some depth and sort of reflection in the water. I just can't wait to use this technique with some more designs. Now I'm going back in with some straight white just to add some highlights in the blue and I'm going to do this all over. This is the simpler version than the kayak. We could stop here, but I can't resist adding a few dark lines. This video is sped up to save you some watching time, but plan to spend about 40 minutes on this background technique. 